as your site starts to grow and you get really comfortable and you feel like you have a good model, I wanted my students to be able to have their own sites, but I didn't want to teach them all the stuff that I'm publishing these videos on. It would be too much class time because students miss, if they miss one step because they were spacing out, which students do, they, they get stuck and they either sit there or they need me and then everybody needs me. And I didn't have my students do websites until I learned this. This is a huge skill. If I have my whole site laid out by units or whatever design that I want, I can say this is the exact template I want my students to have. I can go to more, manage site, Publish this site as a template. Template name. This is what the students are going to search for when they create their site. They can search for this template. So I'm going to give it something weird so I know that we'll find it. Something weird 22. Enter description. Test site template. Select a category if you want, education, and submit. Site template submitted. This site is now a template on my site page. And it will continue to be visible to students going forward. Cancel that. So let's see what the student sees. The students go to make a site for the first time. Now we ask them to browse the gallery for more. And there's all these different sites that you can search through when you're deciding this. Now these can be a little bit complicated, so I wouldn't suggest a teacher use these for their first site. But you can start to look for things. You might find something that you like or might see a neat way to do something. I would like to go to awesome site. Wait, something weird 22. Search. The student clicks on it. No need to preview, but I do need to scroll down and click select. I don't know why it's so far down. But now Something Weird 22 template will be the design of their new site 22, new site. So as you can see, the template looks just like the one that I published. So this is sweet. When I learned this, I was like, finally, now I can just make a template for my students, pretty similar to mine, that had all the units and it has a place for them to submit their digital work. And then I can slowly also here and there teach them web functions like embedding, hyperlinking, and just learn the basic web 2.0 tools that they'll need um, as long as they're in school and beyond. So this was killer. Being able to make templates is a great feature. And it's under Manage Site. Publish this site as a template. But, you know, I don't really need this, so I'm going to delete it. And this is how we delete. Yes, delete. And I think you have like 30 days to bring it back. Uh, so that was publishing as a template. So your students can now have their own websites without having to teach them how to build the whole website.